Welcome to WealthWiz, the channel where we delve into the intricate and often overlooked aspect of trading, the psychology behind it. It's not just about numbers and technical charts, it's about the mental game, the psychology that drives our decisions in the stock market. Today, we'll navigate through the mental mazes that traders often find themselves in, unraveling the psychological traps that can ensnare even the most seasoned traders. Understanding these pitfalls is crucial for any trader looking to achieve long-term success. So, strap in and prepare for an insightful journey into the mind of a trader. Let's begin with a common psychological trap, confirmation bias. This cognitive bias occurs when traders, perhaps like you, seek out or interpret information in a way that confirms their preconceptions. Imagine this. You're bullish on a stock. You've done your analysis and feel good about it. But instead of keeping an open mind, you find yourself only seeking out information that reaffirms your positive stance on the stock. Any bearish news or analysis? You might unconsciously dismiss it or rationalize it away. This selective perception can blind traders to essential signals and lead to poor decision-making. To counteract confirmation bias, it's critical to consciously seek out and consider information that challenges your views. Regularly expose yourself to differing opinions and analyses, and weigh them as objectively as possible, against your own. This balanced approach will not only broaden your perspective, but also lead to more well-rounded and informed trading decisions. Next, let's address a challenge many traders face. FOMO, the fear of missing out. You've seen it happen, a stock starts skyrocketing, and you're not on it. That nagging feeling sets in. I knew it was going to go up. Why didn't I buy? This fear can lead to impulsive, ill-timed entries, often when the stock is already overextended. To combat FOMO, develop and stick to a well-thought-out trading plan. Remind yourself that the market always presents new opportunities. It's far better to miss out than to jump in late and end up with a losing trade. Discipline is key here. Train yourself to resist the urge to chase a stock and instead, Focus on planned, well-reasoned trades that fit your strategy. Revenge trading is another emotional pitfall that can wreak havoc on a trader's portfolio. We've all experienced a loss that stung a bit more than usual. Maybe it was a trade where you felt so sure, but the market proved you wrong. That sting can quickly turn into frustration, anger, even a desire for revenge against the market. I'll show it, you might think, jumping into another trade hastily to recoup your losses. But this is a dangerous mindset. Trading in a state of heightened emotion often leads to irrational decisions and increased risk-taking, which can compound losses rather than recover them. When you feel this urge, it's time to step back. Take a break from trading, cool off, and return only when you can approach the markets with a clear, calm mind. It's not about winning against the market. It's about making smart, rational decisions based on your trading plan and strategy. If you're finding this exploration into the trader's mind enlightening and wish to delve deeper into the world of trading psychology, remember to subscribe to WealthWiz. Our channel is dedicated to providing you with the insights and knowledge you need to navigate the financial markets successfully. Overconfidence is another psychological hurdle that can trip up traders. Perhaps you've had a string of successful trades and you're feeling on top of the world. It's easy to let this success inflate your confidence leading to a sense of invincibility. I've cracked the code, you might think, but in the markets, overconfidence can be dangerous. It can lead to taking on excessive risk or deviating from your trading plan. Remember, past performance is not indicative of future results. The key is to stay humble and grounded, regardless of recent successes. Keep a check on your risk management and continue to approach each trade with the same level of diligence and analysis as you did your first. Success in trading is not just about making profitable trades. It's about maintaining a disciplined approach, continuously learning, and adapting to the ever-changing market conditions. Journaling is an invaluable tool that often goes underutilized by traders. Keeping a trading journal helps you document not just your trades, but also the thought processes, emotions, and decisions behind them. It serves as a mirror, reflecting back your trading habits both good and bad. By reviewing your journal, you can spot patterns in your trading, identify mistakes, and uncover areas for improvement. 
Journaling also fosters a habit of self-reflection and discipline, essential qualities for any successful trader. Start by jotting down the details of each trade, the reasoning behind it, how you felt before, during, and after the trade, and the outcome. Over time, this record will become an invaluable resource for self-improvement and learning. As we conclude this session on trading psychology, remember that trading is not just about mastering market analysis or having a foolproof strategy. It's equally about mastering your mind. The psychological aspects of trading play a crucial role in your success. By recognizing and addressing the mental errors we've discussed, you equip yourself with the tools to navigate the complex world of trading more effectively. It's about creating a synergy between your mind, your strategy, and the markets. So before you make your next trade, pause for a moment. Reflect on your mental state. Are you falling into one of these psychological traps? Are your decisions driven by logic or emotion? The answers to these questions can have a profound impact on your trading success. Thank you for joining us today on Wealth Whiz. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content on trading, finance, and the art of mastering the markets. Keep learning, stay disciplined, and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to unravel the complexities of the financial world. Happy trading!